you know, accounting is accounting, but every different niche has specific things that you need to track. And e-commerce, it, while it's not really new anymore, for the longest time, a lot of accountants didn't necessarily know exactly how to track the numbers and what to track and what to really look for. So it's it's really cool to have uh, accountants out there that know what myself as a business owner should be looking at because obviously I have forced myself to know a good amount about accounting, but I'm far from an expert and it's not something that I enjoy doing. So having good bookkeepers and good accountants is an absolute must for any business out there really, but e-commerce especially. Well, and, and just to kind of add to that, I think as entrepreneurs, those of us who go start things, we build things from scratch. Um, and I'm one of them like you guys are, like, I'm, I'm very optimistic. And if my numbers in front of me are kind of blurry, I'm going to tend to kind of believe the best in myself. Like, Hey, I, I, it's going to work out. It's probably just noise in the accounting. And I think as our businesses get bigger, and we'll talk about this more in a minute, Todd, but like, we have to get very focused on letting the data tell us a true story. And so to your point, you know, that's kind of, that's kind of uh, pillar one is, okay, we got to be really willing to run our business based on data. And then to your point about most accountants, kind of pillar two is there's a lot of data. It's really confusing. There's a lot of fees. There's a lot of rows of of different spreadsheets. And most of your accountants out there kind of look at an Amazon statement and and it kind of freaks them out. They're like, oh my gosh, I have no idea. And because they have no idea, they tend to kind of cut corners, make things as simple as possible for them. But again, going back to the optimistic entrepreneur like you and and myself here, Todd, it, it gives us bad data which we're going to be tempted to ignore, which is going to not allow us to make the best choices to build the brand or build the company we want to build. Yeah. And that's one of the worst things to do is uh, have bad data, bad numbers that maybe you're relying on those numbers and you don't know they're bad and that can destroy your business or you know they're bad. So you're not paying attention to them and you don't really know what your profit is. You know, you feel like you're selling a whole ton of product, but your bottom line is negative and you don't know it. And that can tank your cash flow real fast in your whole business. So it's super important to, to understand your numbers. And that's something that in the beginning, it really hurt me when I first started this, because I was selling, I was doing retail arbitrage, selling 90,000 a year or a month. I mean, and I thought I was doing awesome. So I quit my job and jumped into it. And uh, then all of a sudden, where did all my cash go? I can't uh, afford to buy inventory anymore. And I wasn't making as much money as I thought. Um, And that was before I really started to pay attention to the numbers. And so it's, it's a big deal for sure. Sure. So let's go ahead and dive into our first uh, level here. So for anybody out there who's you know sitting on their couch, they haven't started e-commerce yet, they're just getting going, what should they be looking at when they first start uh, to get the ball rolling in their right direction and not be you know fighting, trying to push it uphill the whole time? 